Hey, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. This is a conversation regarding uh, trading strategies, uh, people uh, coming up and uh, trying to help me out to develop stuff, as well as some R conversation. So let me give you a little backstory. This is from a thread that came from this person uh, a couple of months ago in the summer of 2013. Um, I'll give you the link here. Uh, and basically it's just regarding uh, helping out in traders, uh, developing strategies both in .NET, C Sharp, uh, MATLAB, C++, all that stuff, and even R, I guess. So continuing along, um, this person asks, this is kind of like a Q&A response. I'm doing this via video. I respond better and faster in uh, video. So this uh, little uh, blurb here um, I just showed you, I'm trying to reconcile with something you said to me in this email thread where I was trying to take myself, make myself useful for free. Uh, you said strategies would be closely guarded as you can imagine, but below you're saying it seems the opposite. So let's get into the opposite part here. And this is what I said in, this, in that, in that um, I guess, thread. You could say, as for trading strategies, I'm in daily contact with successful traders and quants. I do have a very private network of capital providers research. I have to put out many tests to find coders to step up to the plate to help develop strategies within a simple framework with details to help them out. So let's backtrack here. All right. Um, okay. So obviously I put out some uh, various strategies and looking for people to help me out to develop strategies and hand code them. Now, Coming back to what I just showed you here, uh, this comment here, strategies will be closely guarded as you can imagine. Now, uh, I'll be going through, once I get this uh, trading platform developed, uh, we will be in .NET, uh, C Sharp, um, it'll be fully uh, a customized solution for an end to end from collecting real time data, processing it through some kind of model, whatever it's coded up in, if it's in MATLAB or .NET, C Sharp. When I say C Sharp and .NET, I'm meaning pretty well the same thing. And processing it, spit out different types of response and allow it to enter into the market. Now, the strategies I'm starting out with are fairly simple and are fairly easily to get online. Now, I'll give you a couple examples. Uh, Ernie Chan's got a couple. He's got a book on them. You can actually uh, download them from a private site when you buy his book. That's a good example of the type of strategies I'll be using to start out with. Um, other strategies which will be closely guarded, as you can imagine what you say here, as you can see here, um, which leads me into this next comment, is uh, I'm in daily contact with successful traders and quants, and I do have a very private network of capital uh, providers and researchers. That is very true. So these go in hand in hand. Now when, when I mention that I have strategies that you can download off the net uh, from various sources, I'll be easily publicizing those. I'll be easily um, basically uh, publicizing those and making those available to all my members and uh, you know demoing for public uh, uh, I'm always using the word demonstrations, my apologies, but demonstrating them in, in public forums like on YouTube and that sort of thing. Whereas some of them will be closely guarded in private, a lot of these capital providers and other successful quants and uh, researchers or whatever um, have their own strategies and they're coming to me to, to hand code those and do something with them. And I was not able to do something with them because I didn't have a trading platform to play with. I mean, I had various other ones, but they just didn't work out with the limitations that every single platform out there has. That's why I wrote my own. So I'm hoping that I've um, uh, gotten around that limitation because now I have a complete end-to-end -end solution. Um, and anybody who's gone down that path will see what I'm talking about. Now. Uh, this one here regarding uh, this current options tr trading strategy, uh, and I guess this is another comment, also they want to be paid first, but I purposely test them to see if they're motivated, and this is how I separate the boys from the men, and, and again, no one stepped up. This is true here. Um, as you can imagine, I could easily put out a ad on Craigslist, Kijiji, to find really, really good strong coders 
I could get coders through uh, Elance and those sort of things, and I can get them for fairly, I don't want to say cheap, um, but affordable. Um, so that is always at my disposal, and I don't like to exploit that way. I mean, I've been at that end uh, where I've been exploited as well, and I'm not a fan of it, so I would like to compensate people for what they're worth. Um, and uh, part of my process is very simple. I hate the resume process. And at the end of the day, I don't really care about degrees. PhDs, masters are great for people that want to work in a bank. I think at the end of the day, what matters is what can you code? How do you code it? Are you fast at coding? And most of all, are you innovative on how you code? Because that is what is makes gives you the cut above, or uh, as I said here, separates the boys from the men. Um, so part of that process that I go through is to say, hey, if, if, if you want to do this job or get co some kind of compensation, here's a test. I'm going to give you a test to say, go out and here's the video, here's the details, and you bring back a strategy. I've done this as a test before, various tests, but the big one that I can think of is uh, uh, where I've put out an ad, I've gotten probably a couple hundred uh, resumes, I went through those, filtered it down to maybe 10 or 15 people, um, and then I said, hey, here's, here's a logical uh, strategy I would like. Uh, it's all, it was all verbalized. Out of that, only one person actually did the test and it took them two weeks. It was not an easy test. So what I came away with was these coders are not as good as they think they are. Um, they're only based around uh, their education and they just don't have the chops to really make it in the world of quant development in my world. Um, and that's why I really think a lot of the hedge funds, there's a lot of these problems with debacles like at night trading or any of these other software related um, engineering issues because a lot of these coders don't have a full understanding of how to really code. They're just in their own little silo world. So that's a test I purposely put people through. Okay, That's, that's, that's something I, I purposely do when you see something on my forum or on my blog. That's what I do. Because over time, once we get properly uh, funded, um, I'll have a, a need for a team, and I already have people out there that are wanting to be part of that. Um, and at some point, I'll be in a hiring process to go through that. Now, that's how the recruiting process will work, because I'm the person, kind of person that likes to work with the best of the best and the top of the breed, or the best of the breed, I guess. All right, and that's the whole purpose of, of these type of questions, and hopefully that answers everything. So great that you're up for the task. Um, that's awesome. Um, but as I said, uh, action speaks louder than words. All right, so I'm learning R. How many time series uh, has many time series support? Depending upon the end of this conversation tool, we could use R to convert. No. Uh, yes, you're right. No. <laughs> MATLAB is what I use. Uh, I've, you got to go through the MATLAB stuff and, and you'll see why I use MATLAB and MATLAB only. I have worked with R, but if you want an example of why I don't like uh, R, um, is this tool called r.r.net. Um, here's, here's a challenge with R. R is fine as a research tool, so is MATLAB. The thing that R does not give you is the ability to co-generate. Um, when I started looking at R, I started investigating Python, and I did go through the process of learning R. R is fine, but here's your problem. Right here, there's two problems in this, there's these two Q&A uh, that you can ask. The time series packages support. How many packages are there, and do they talk nice to each other? Probably not. And you'll spend a lot of time and wasting a lot of time trying to convert them to play nice with each other. That's problem number one. Number two is this R.net. I played with it, it's very good at what it does. I'm not denying that. Here's the problem though, if you're into high speed trading, that tool right there is gonna be a problem for you. And I say that because um, when it connects into R or an R session, it's a bridging technology. Meaning, you're not really working with a native source code within your package or your trading platform, let's say, and it's gonna connect into some kind of model that's native to that, uh, 
uh, source code in which the platform is written in. It's going to become a problem. So you have to bridge the two technologies together. So in this case, you're obviously trying to connect .NET or C Sharp with R. That's a bridging technology. So every time you connect into R, there's going to be a warm-up phase for the R, the R session to start up. And that little R session, that's what's going to kill you in the process. I don't need to argue with about anybody about it because I know the person that will come back with a response. Uh, and that can be said for another product with a faster language. We'll leave it at that. Okay? And we have the same problem with that, uh, with that package as well. So this is why I use MATLAB. So MATLAB co-generates into the native source language or source co uh, programming language I want. Obviously C or C++. The nice thing with uh, .NET and Visual Studio is, is that .NET easily uh, can be compatible with C++. Again, I've done it millions of times and it works and it works great. And that's the path that I'm going down with the platform. All right, so hopefully I'll answer your question. Got any other questions, let me know and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Have a good day.